Hey, what's going on, Trev? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So, guys, um, every time it's a new moon or a full moon or an eclipse or something going on planetary wise, I always feel it. Um, I'm so sensitive to the energy of recently, um, but I'm starting to feel it. So, um, I thought it was quite strange because on the calendar, it doesn't actually say it's a new moon, but um, I was watching a video on YouTube and it's a new moon and if you look, look in the small print of the calendar it actually says there's a new moon today on the 30th but it doesn't actually say it in the big print which is like false advertisement so they basically you have to look for it but usually for um, other ones it's just there and it says oh yes yeah, a normal moon but it's actually today um, so it's one of them nights where I haven't slept so I don't know whether to say good morning or good night um, but it's very interesting. I was trying to lay down at well, I was just laying there at four o'clock in the morning, and um, I started getting this channeled message come through. Set the mood: peace, love, light, unity, abundance, health, peace, forgiveness, acceptance, all that good stuff. Inhale that goodness. That's great, and you know, I love this. We're a new day of every day. Mate. I've fucking adopted, I've got a baby crow in my yard. No, I'll just show you guys. <laughs> yeah. The universe is just being mad to me right now. Yeah. Bloody mad thing. So yeah, I've got a pet crow and I've named him Shadow. So yeah. I was trying, so I was trying to lay down at, um, at four o'clock in the morning, and that's the witching hour between three and five a.m. is the witching hour. So um, I was laying there, laying there, and I started getting these. Uh, so I got this. This voice was like, "Hey K," or something like, that, or "Hey K C," or something. And then I was like, "All right, let me tune in," and started um, kind of opened up my chakras and kind of let the energy flow. And it was a channeled message by a guy named, a person named Eric. Um, so I'll read to you how the conversation went because um, I've never channeled Eric before. So this is quite new to me. So if any of you know who Eric is, um, please hit the comments and let me know. I know he's a, um, it's a frequency energy being um, and I'm channeling him, he's from the ninth or tenth dimension he said um but yeah at this point i'm just like a crazy person so yeah take it take take the messages as 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 use your discernment and it's uh, for the esoteric folk anyway so let's begin have a got to be too professional because um this is more of a channeled message so it's fine. When I've got to do readings and stuff, I've got to be like more formal. Yes, hello. Well, I'll try to be anyway. And then you still get the ghetto version anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, cool. So let's begin. Hey, Casey. Look, you're doing it. You are being the best version of yourself. See how everything is falling into place and with much ease. Yes, I see how things are falling into place. It's actually pretty cool. I have been doing the inner work and now it's starting to pay off. Who am I speaking with? Eric. My name is Eric. Is there anything you would like to communicate in it, Eric? Do you feel your powers increasing? Indeed, I do. I feel connected to everything. This is how I was feeling. I'm feeling connected to everything at the moment. People, places and things. Um, well, my dear friend, we are all connected and all one. Because we are all one at the end of the day. When you, What you do for others, you actually do for yourself. Um, in a way, you aren't... Oh. Yeah, we are all one. I basically feel like I'm physically not here because I've been floating, I've been drifting. Like, I don't know since the eclipse or whatever, but I just can't get grounded and I'm literally floating. I've been floating the last week, literally, like, and doing being impulsive. Um, 
and needing to move and stuff. So it's been a bit wild of the recent energies. Um, so I was like, I feel, I basically feel like I'm physically not here. Is that's how I'm feeling? Um, I think that might make might be an ascension symptom as well. Um, I've also been having this throat problem still going on, so um, it may be a throat um, ascension symptom as well. Um, in a way, you aren't. You have ascended. You are vibrating at a higher frequency. Yeah, I feel my body changing, shifting, and adjust, and the adjustment is uncomfortable. Evolving is unpleasant at times. Remember how a caterpillar is before it is a butterfly. You have to keep yourself as grounded as possible in these new energies. One can become ungrounded very quickly. I have noticed since the eclipse, I feel like I've been floating. Staying grounded isn't as easy as it used to be. It's like a full-time job. <laughs> it is a full-time job. Some It is a full-time job. Some. Oh, it is a full-time job. You and your brothers and sisters are doing a wonderful job. We know it's not always easy down there on earth, but you volunteered for the task many lifetimes ago. I really did sign up for this shit. Earth is so bloody strange and humans are something else. <laughs> Some of them are like still in the stone age. It's wild. It's all about disconnecting from the system. Once your mind is open and you disconnect, life is totally different. That's what I said. Um, in, Indeed, my brother, indeed. But yes, the seeds you have planted are be, beginning to sprout. Your prayers have been answered. The main prayer you seek is coming. Be patient. It also seeks you. Don't go looking for it. It will find you. Okay, thanks, Eric. It's taking its sweet time because I've got um, something that I feel was coming. It's coming, but it's not manifested just yet. And I'm being impatient about it. Like, I'm impatient. I've got the the Ross Clark thing tattooed on my hand. Yeah, patience is the key. So I know about being impatient, and this is my lesson currently. Um, okay, thanks, Eric. It's taking a sweet time. Divine timing. Divine timing. Try to still the mind as much as possible and relax the body. They are both going through shifts and need to adjust to the energies. I feel the shift. I've hardly needed sleep the last few days that's because you are sensitive to energies and feel any shifts slight shifts that happens energetically what dimension are you from eric you could say i'm from the ninth or tenth dimension are you how are things looking from up there things are looking very promising the shift is underway and everything is happening as it should yes there is a struggle there, yes, there will be struggles, but Earth wasn't going to be an easy job in the first place. This is why very few volunteered. You are the way showers, the first wave of light workers to awaken and ready the way for for your brothers and sisters to follow. It is an honor to go through the pain first to then lead the way. This is my life purpose. I found it, not looking for it, because I was looking for my life purpose. And then when I wasn't looking for it, I found it, basically. Funny how the universe works, right? Yes, Eric, it is very. I've got many questions I would like, like answered. Over time, yes, I'm impatient, as you know. I am just hungry for deeper knowledge and truths and the mystical side of things. Indeed, this will come over time, and I can ans only answer your question questions to a level of your understanding of certain things, and certain questions we cannot answer as it's part of your soul slash life lesson, and you need these lessons to grow and expand, but you are doing very well 
and have come a long way and not to worry there is nothing to fear thanks you for being oh there is nothing to fear thanks there is nothing to fear thanks for being of service you're welcome eric i will be in contact soon my friend so this is eric um and i'm not sure well this is my first time channeling eric um it sounds like he's got a funny kind of energy to him eric has um which is very interesting um but uh, yeah that's my first time channeling eric and um so everything's going to according to plan and things have actually just been falling into place in my life like things have just been going so smooth um and i've been waiting like i've got this thing of waiting like yeah everything's going a bit too smooth like where where what is going on here this is not normal kind of attitude i've always had it but um it's still going smooth like so it's like oh like i'm starting to like this kind of smoothness it's not no more chaotic and like them ups and downs kind of thing it's starting to kind of mellow out now and i'm like oh very interesting eric um, but this is coming conscious to me as well and come, I've become conscious of this um, like my uh, pattern instead of going hectic and then lows and then hectic and then lows um, they've actually kind of mellow out um, I'm starting to begin to understand energy and mental f mental processes and connecting to them on a different level now so it's very interesting um, and everything's falling into place um, finding my life purpose, being of service is my life purpose. Um, yeah, and everything is um, how it should be, and I'm kind of accepting that. Um, and so, yeah, it's pretty interesting what Eric had to say. And um, yeah, we're going to see what other messages come through at other times. Haven't heard nothing from Adam of recent. Um, Maybe my channels are just open to different beings and energies at the moment. So, um, yeah, hopefully Adam hasn't served his purpose because I would like to hear more from Adam. But I haven't heard anything from him of recent. So that's he's probably just doing his thing or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And he's leaving me alone for once. But then someone else pops in and wants to chat. So, you know, how it goes for us nutcases. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was just a little message from Adam. Um, from the ninth or tenth dimension, anyway, guys. Um, yeah, there are probably some truths in there. I'm not sure if it was a direct message or a message that need to be shared, but it was a channeled message, and I thought I'll share it with you guys anyway. But um, peace, love, and light, drive, and I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon. Thanks for watching.